Today's checklist, the best over-the-counter medicines that you should have on hand right now. NBC News. Oh, yeah. 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 We only ever see them from like, you know. Uh, so it's good to have you here, full body. So great to um, How do we know, first of all, the difference between not just cold and flu, but common cold, upper respiratory symptoms, uh, congestion, sinus pressure, that those are common. COVID, now we're seeing the more we're... Oh, Doc, we've been talking about this. Uh, the, the FDA... This ...and have been talking about it to look for something else, like... A... You have it in your... In your... Let's say somebody's watching this morning, they have a fever, maybe the sniffles, a cough, what have you. What would you use? Like, whatever you're picking up, that's what I'm picking up. <laughs> <laughs> so, like, what, what I'll is... have what he's Yeah, having. what is effective? Something that has pseudoephedrine in it, if you're congested. Okay. They're great, but especially if you have something with pseudoephedrine. Okay. Mm -hmm. Not okay. phenylephrine. Mm -hmm. Neti pots, if you don't want to use them. I like using sprays up yeah. the nose. It yeah. can be a little uncomfortable. What if you have a cough? Oh, sorry. If you have a cough, something, uh, just... Uh, you just said I, I use them occasionally for, for allergies and sometimes if I'm... If I'm symptoms to, you know, my son right now has a fever. He didn't have one when I left for work this morning. Should I have given him more medicine for his fever before I left or... Uh, uh, not necessarily. That was helpful. I, I know. Yeah. I felt Thank like we you. invited you in from Seattle to ask you all about health. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> For more information about the best cold med remedies and which ones to avoid, you can go to our website, today.com slash health. All right, coming up, we've got... Her, Lou, it's so great. Oh, my God, it's so good to be here. Yeah. 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 See you all. Oh, so <laughs> my energy. <laughs> oh, I like that. Big energy. Yes. I like that. Okay, so before we get to the, to obviously, um, like sanctioned it. I love right. it. So, and we can say words. Yes. Uber anymore. <laughs> <laughs> no, that's how I always refer to it, because people go like, oh, I loved you on there. New York. Yes. And you say with some of the women or some of the people in the performance, you can relate to different folks. You know, first of all, it's so like when you get to s share the stage with people you're so close with. Does it make it easier than, you know, a, a new cast of folks you haven't met? You, everybody will recognize them. Special. Yeah. It's really great. And it's, <laughs> you're two boys. Uh, I know. Oh. So now I can talk about that, too, although I was always kind of allowed, because you're just mom. a woman of so many talents. I know you have this one-woman show. I'll, essentially, how does that work? You just know, like, if I give you a date. Oh, oh. Oh. Dates. Dates. Oh, my Thanks, gosh. Mark. Okay. With dates. So you pull out the date. Okay, no. So I do a one-woman show okay. called Music okay. and Memories. Uh -huh. And I take people through my entire career. And I show I mean, people put a date mm -hmm. in a fishbowl. No, anyways. It's on me. What's that? I don't 19, know. I don't know. 1983. I'll tell you what I was doing right there. Yeah? They're Whoa! Who? Wow. 15th. June 15th. Yeah. Now yeah. I want to know. Okay. So, okay. As okay. we go to commercial, one, one last one. Yes. Wow. There you go. Excellent. I'm Very good. Thank, Thank you yeah. so Thank much. You. Mad Women of the West begins performances off-Broadway November 11th. And when's the one-woman show starting? Oh, I... <laughs> <laughs> wow. yes. so and it's directed so by Tom here. Caruso. I just want to say that, too. Yeah. All right. so, you guys have to come. We will. Laugh. there. It's incredible. Our series Generation Next, a pop star on a mission. This morning in our series, Generation Next, a music star spreading an important message about mental health. NBC News Now anchor Savannah Sellers sat down with him. Good morning. Hi. Hi. Good morning. I love this story. Thank you, guys. It's tools, meditation, journaling. Wow. It's really cool. I'm part of Nomination. That's what the fans... Hey, thank, thank you. you. Thank you. All right, just ahead, this is for... Tomorrow in the third hour of today, singer-songwriter Jewel is live in Studio 1A. Hey, well, that would be fun. Coming up on Hoda and Jenna, though, Jenna's sister, Barbara. She's joining the fun as guest host. I love that. We'll see you tomorrow. Have a great day, everybody. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.